What do we mean when we hear the term viral hepatitis? By viral hepatitis, we're talking about a family of tiny infectious agents or viruses invisible to the naked eye that affect the liver. The liver's on the right side of our belly. It's about as big as a football. It's the largest solid organ in the body, and it has many, many important jobs. It's a filter, it's a storage tank, it's part of the immune system, and we need our liver to live. And what this family of viruses can do is infect our liver cells and replicate or make more viruses. And over time, this can cause damage to the liver, and then the liver doesn't work as well. Now, there are many different types of viral hepatitis. The most common in the United States are viral hepatitis A, B, and C. When we think about viral hepatitis, we really can think about these infections in two categories. First, we have acute infection, hepatitis A. What that means is if we are exposed to or we catch hepatitis A, there's no chronic or persistent form of infection. Hepatitis A comes and goes, almost like a cold. We can get it, we can get some symptoms, which may be nausea, we can get some vomiting, diarrhea. Some people might even notice a little bit of yellowing of their eyes or some skin changes, a little yellowing of the skin. And then all these symptoms go away on their own within a few days or weeks. And there's no permanent or chronic form to viral hepatitis A. We don't need to use any medications. Now on the other hand, there are two types of viral hepatitis, hepatitis B and C, which may not clear up on their own. And with hepatitis C, about 85% of people who become infected do not clear the virus on their own and develop a chronic or persistent form of infection called chronic hepatitis C virus infection. And with hepatitis B, again, a certain proportion of people upon exposure will develop this chronic persistent problem where the virus replicates in the liver.